From the elephant's Siberian cousin to the legendary saber-toothed tiger, these are 15 of the biggest animals scientists are trying to bring back from extinction. Number 15, Woolly Mammoth. Woolly mammoths inhabited the northern reaches of the Earth and were one of the last species of the mammoth genus to become extinct. Several fossils and samples of this animal have been collected over the years and, because they live in very cold places, there are frozen remains with very well-preserved soft tissue. There is a facility full of researchers whose job is to recreate the iconic woolly mammoth, the same one that was iconic through the Ice Age. The scientists were able to find several frozen carcasses of the animal, through which it was possible to have access to relatively well-preserved DNA samples. Mammoths inhabited the island of Wrangell in the Arctic Ocean as little as 4,000 years ago. In 2011, one of the specimens found had the bone marrow practically intact, which opens up even greater possibilities of bringing this animal to life. Russian scientist Semyon Grigoriev, director of the Mammoth Museum in the Republic of Sakha, along with colleagues from Japan, stated that with this material in hand, cloning could be done in up to five years. Number 14, Baiji. Undoubtedly, over the centuries, human beings have become true experts in destroying species, leading them to extinction in ways as disparate as the destruction of their habitat, indiscriminate hunting, or the capture of live specimens for different purposes. One example of that habitat destruction occurred for the Baiji, a sea creature who had the misfortune to live in an area that has a whole lot of humans living there. This curious dolphin used to live in the Yangtze River in China, until 10 years ago it was declared extinct. However, at the end of last year, there were testimonies of the existence of a specimen that renews hopes about the possibility of conservation of the species still alive. And, without a doubt, the best way to do it would be to clone some of the few dolphins of this type that may still be hidden in the river. Will scientists be able to do it? We hope so, because this white fin dolphin is quite cute and deserves to thrive. The last captive member of this species was named Chi Chi, who passed away nearly 20 years ago. Number 13, Tasmanian Tiger. The Tasmanian Tiger is believed to have become extinct during the 20th century, but it is still considered today to be the largest carnivorous marsupial of modern times. Although it also suffered from human presence, this species has a very low genetic diversity, which makes it not very adaptable to changes. Thus, when humans started making Australia and later Tasmania into modern places, they hunted this creature and pushed it to extinction in the 1930s. Additionally, bringing dogs to the island caused the Tasmanian tiger to have to compete with a new species, hampering it further. In 2008, researchers extracted DNA from a 100-year-old specimen and resuscitated its genetic material, including it in a mouse embryo. This was the first time that the DNA of an extinct animal was used in the embryo of a living creature for study. Who knows, in the future, the Tasmanian tigers may inhabit Australia and New Guinea again. What's the rarest animal you've ever seen in person? Have you ever encountered something so rare you don't know if any other human had ever seen it before? If you've been on treks through remote jungles or mountains, it's possible you've seen rare animals. Tell me about them in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe to The Biggest for more informative videos like this one if you haven't already. Number 12, Giant Auk. A curious example is that of the Giant Auk, since its extinction took place as the result of a series of climactic changes of the Ice Age that brought polar bears to its territory that, along with human hunting, ended up making them succumb. For this reason, as it is also partly our fault, the name of this penguin is one of the most popular among the candidates to be recovered through genetic engineering. They say that a loved one never leaves if their memory remains, and in the same way, an extinct species never ends up being so if we preserve their DNA in some way. At least this way we will be able to compensate for a small part of the terrible havoc that human beings have wrought over the centuries. It survived in the North Atlantic Ocean until the 1850s due to people hunting for their feathers to make pillows as well as for food. Number 11, Pyrenean 
Ibex. This is a very recent case of an extinct animal, and the last specimen died in the year 2000. Like many of these extinct creatures, humans hunted them to the edge of extinction, and competition with new animals introduced by humans was the final straw. However, due to the recency of their disappearance, there are still fresh samples of their DNA. Thus, the Pyrenean ibex is one of the most promising species to be brought back to life. In fact, for a few short minutes in 2003, scientists did the impossible and successfully cloned a female ibex. However, the infant ibex died soon after birth because of genetic defects. But for a tiny period of time, we did actually resurrect the species. But there is a problem. The last ibex was a female. And so, even if the species came back to life, there would be no males to breed. However, a little genetic engineering could reverse this situation. Number 10, Imperial Woodpecker. It is not known if this species is officially extinct, but the truth is that it has not been seen even once in the last 50 years, so it is listed as critically endangered, possibly extinct. It lived in West Central Mexico and never had more than a few thousand members of the species. However, it went extinct due to hunting and logging in its natural habitat and therefore it would have succumbed to humans, who destroyed much of its habitat in which it lived. What other goal should these advanced geneticists and biologists pursue than trying to bring this creature back to life to make amends? Number 9. Woolly Rhinoceros A cousin to the white rhinos that still live in Africa, this is an extinct mammal whose habitat was located in steppe areas of Eurasia in the period known as the Pleistocene an animal that belonged to the Rhinocerotidae family, which managed to spread over areas as wide as from the center of the Iberian Peninsula to Mongolia or Siberia, the woolly rhinoceros was a large, robust animal that could measure up to 13 feet in length and had long horns that reached 3 feet in length. It is believed that they used their horns to remove snow in winter and thus be able to access the grass of their pastures, which is why they did not need to change their location due to lack of food. Of course, one of the causes of their disappearance is due to hunting by modern humans and Neanderthals. Other theories are climate change associated with glacier retreat and the super disease hypothesis. The woolly rhinoceros can be a specimen for science since a complete female specimen has recently been discovered, and when scientists call it complete, they are speaking of bones, skin, and horns. Wow. Number 8. Dinosaurs There is no way to discuss potential candidates for de-extinction without mentioning dinosaurs and the possibility of recreating something similar to John Hammond's venture into Jurassic Park. In the case of dinosaurs, access to genetic material is much more difficult, and therefore, science will have to find a way to recreate it. DNA does degrade over time, so we won't be able to recreate a dinosaur simply by picking up an old fossil and cracking it open for the genetic code. In addition to the constant search for intact dinosaur DNA in fossil records, scientists plan an even more audacious scheme. They want to genetically hack a chicken to evolve it. That is, make the bird's genetic code revert to that of a dinosaur as if it were going back in time on the evolutionary scale. Could you imagine eating an omelet made out of velociraptor eggs? Or one giant brontosaurus egg? That would be the biggest extreme food ever. Number 7. Aurochs This more than 2 million year old animal is the ancestor of most of the cattle that we know today. The aurochs lived between Europe Asia and North Africa before totally disappearing between four and five hundred years ago. The absolute last member of the species was found in Poland in 1627, and that was the end of them. Why did they go extinct? They were actually domesticated in various parts of Eurasia over the last five thousand years, but they slowly lost habitat over time until they were restricted to parts of Eastern Europe by the Middle Ages. They were hunted to death, caught diseases from other species of cattle, and lost their habitat as farming expanded. However, their domestication carries the key to their resurrection. The species could be brought back to life from current cattle, some of which still carry some of the DNA of the oryx. 
In fact, some people are trying to breed them back into existence with selection from other similar species to recreate all the characteristics of the aurochs. Number 6. Dodo When we think of extinction, we think of the dodo. This was an endemic, flightless bird. The dodo, as well as other Indian Ocean birds, was related to pigeons that had stopped flying and become terrestrial. They did this because they basically lived in a habitat without any type of natural predator. However, after humans arrived on the island of Mauritius, where this bird lived, they wiped it out, driving it hopelessly towards extinction in the late 17th century. The Portuguese discoverers called the bird dodo, stupid in Portuguese colloquial speech because of its clumsiness and the ease with which it could be hunted. The arrival of man led to the spread of new species on the island, including pigs, crab-eating macaques, dogs, cats, and rats, the appearance of new diseases, and the destruction of the forest itself, on which the dodo's subsistence largely depended. It is estimated that the looting of their nests by the new species had a more devastating effect than that of hunting. As a consequence, the complete extinction of this bird occurred a century after the arrival of human beings on the island. Fortunately, in 2007, what is considered to be the best preserved skeleton of this animal was found, and thanks to the DNA contained in it, it could be one of the extinct animals brought back to life by scientists. Number 5. Giant Elk How about a moose with horns that measured about 12 feet from one end to the other? This incredible animal, known as the Giant Elk, became extinct at the end of the last ice age, and the causes of this disappearance were probably the climactic changes in the regions where he lived. Just as in the case of other animals on this list, the climatic conditions in which he lived favor the preservation of soft tissues, making this species a great candidate to have its DNA extracted for future manipulation. Number 4. Macrauchenia This strange mammal of the Lithopterna family this animal was blessed with a body similar to the current camel and a kind of short trunk. The length of the Macrauchenia was about 11 feet, and its height was about 7 feet, and it was almost 2,000 pounds in weight. It is believed that the function of the trunk was to be able to grasp food, to be able to breathe if it entered a lagoon, to ventilate itself, and to remove annoying insects. According to the studies carried out on the remains found, it is thought that it was an extremely intelligent animal. One more candidate, thanks to the remains found, provided with some flesh, skin, and other soft matter in Argentina, scientists hope to get to know this extinct animal much better. Number 3. Giant Ground Sloth This animal is also known as the Megatherium. It went extinct a full 8,000 years ago. When it stood up on its two legs, it could be 20 feet tall. In the south, these ground sloths flourished up to 10,500 years ago that we know due to radiocarbon dating. Several authors have cited the emergence of the expanding population of human hunters as one of the causes of their extinction. The use of bioclimatic models indicates that the areas of suitable habitats for megatherium shrunk and became more fragmented in the mid-Holocene. Although this alone would not have caused its extinction, it has been cited as a possible factor that contributed to its disappearance. There are many remains of the Megatherium from which we can get DNA, and it hasn't been that long since their extinction. What's a few thousand years between cloned cousins? Number 2. Moa The Moa is a giant, flightless bird that roamed the Earth a few centuries ago, and about 600 years ago, they were considered the largest birds in the world because they have recently disappeared in the grand scheme of things, it is still possible to find skin and feather remains. As if that were not enough, researchers also found intact eggs of this species whose shells provided the MOA's DNA for cloning projects. It should be interesting to see if we can clone them in the near future. Number 1. Saber-Toothed Tiger Also known as the Smilodon Fatalis, it is an extinct species of ancient feline that could have coexisted with ancient human ancestors. The appearance of the saber-toothed tiger was imposing, but it had a lower jaw power than that of a current lion, with a weak bite. A solitary animal with front claws that it helped to knock down its prey, immobilizing them with its powerful cervical muscles, at which point it nailed its splendid canines into the throat. 
the blood stopped reaching the brain, and death occurred immediately. Therefore, it did not need a jaw as powerful as those of modern cats. Its main characteristic, and from what it receives its name, is its jaw that could open 120 degrees, housing powerful saber fangs which could reach 0.3 feet in length. The saber-toothed tiger became extinct at the end of the Pleistocene period, possibly due to climate change, although according to remains found, man could have also been responsible for its disappearance. A candidate specimen of very well-preserved bones and tissues have been found in the United States. It was found in a pool of tar, which preserved it till this day. Those are the biggest animals scientists are bringing back from extinction. Which ones would you love to see come alive again? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you love this video on the biggest animals scientists are bringing back from extinction, then check out other videos from the biggest by subscribing right away. See you there.